Listen to your preferred news feeds with Audiogo.com. Rotten to the core, now Labour Stoke Mayor is arrested on corruption charges as well. Rotten to the core, that is the verdict of observers of the Tory Labour Tweedledee Tweedledum party after the Labour Mayor of Stoke on Trent Mark Meredith was arrested by police on corruption charges this morning. Mr Meredith's arrest follows the arrest last week of Mr Roger Ibs, the group leader of the Conservative and Independent Alliance on Stoke Council, and the earlier revelation that the deputy leader of Mr Ibs' group, Mr Lee Wanger, has been placed in the child sex offenders list for subscribing to a child pornography website. Staffordshire Police said the force's major investigations department was conducting a thorough, objective and detailed inquiry. Officers said there had been a need to ask a second man to help them with their inquiries. Mr. Meredith has been in the post of elected mayor since May 2005. It is believed that the two arrests are linked and that whole rotten Tory Labour house of cards in Stoke-on-Trent is about to come collapsing down, with the beneficiary being the British National Party. The BNP already has nine councillors in the city, and group leader Mr. Albie Walker is odds-on favour to become leader of the council. Labour activists fear the BNP is now the strongest single party in Stoke. On May 1, 2008, Labour polled 14,000 votes and 20 seats. The BNP polled almost 8,000 standing in just 10 seats. Despite this fact, Mr Meredith deliberately has excluded the BNP councillors from his cross-party executive. Twelve years ago, Labour won all 60 seats on Stoke's new unitary council. Now it holds 15, plus the mayor. Vast swaths of the city, 12 of 20 wards, have no Labour representation. 12 of their councillors represent four wards where Stoke's ethnic minority populations are concentrated. It seems as if third world levels of corruption have already come to the Tory Labour elite in Stoke. Share. <laughs>